guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about how to cover and minimize enlarged pores. I know that the struggle is real. I have had enlarged pores pretty much as long as I can remember. Unfortunately, it is part of something that comes with having oily skin. Because our skin produces such a high amount of oil, uh, the pores basically get utilized more and then they therefore enlarge over time. So oily skin means enlarged pores, but you've got to remember that it's not the end of the world because oily skin also means that you age a lot slower. So less wrinkles, less fine lines, no dryness, no flakiness, no creases. So, I mean, you win some, you lose some. I did actually used to get bullied about my pores. Um, I remember people would say, what are those holes in your face? What's going on there? And I was like, oh, it's my skin. Leave me alone. <laughs> Teenagers can be so horrible. <laughs> and I reckon in about the last maybe 18 months to two years, I have really found a method that is a surefire way to hide your pores. So if you are interested in learning how to conceal and minimize the appearance of enlarged pores, then please keep on watching. Okay, so here is a super close look at my skin. It doesn't get any more real than this. You can see that this is my area of concern, just sort of on the apples of my cheeks and sort of more towards my mouth and the sides of my nose as well. You want to use a primer that is a pore minimizing primer. My favorite is this Smashbox one, but I also really love the NYX Pore Filler and the Benefit Pore Professional. I will link them all down below for you. Now, what you want to do with this product is work it really deeply into the pores. If you think about a pothole in a road, you want to fill it up with cement right so that you know it's nice and smooth to drive on top of think of this product like the cement so I first work it into the pores using circular motions and then I take my fingers and I apply pressure onto the skin and really push it deep down into the base of my pores because this will create a really nice even surface for our foundation to go on top of I just smooth any excess product onto the rest of my face so that it is all primed. Now I do quickly want to show you a comparison of the before and after. So this is my skin with the primer and then this is my skin without the primer. As you can see, it's already made a huge difference. Okay, moving on to foundation, you want to use a small, stiff, bristled brush to work on the areas where you've got enlarged pores. Picking up any kind of foundation, it doesn't really matter. You want to start working this brush in circular motions over the affected areas. So I want this product, you know, in those pores. I want to I want to wipe it up. I want to wipe it down from left to right, around and around in circles. Essentially, you want this foundation to cover the entirety of the pore and not just sort of skim over the top. If it just skims over the top, which is typically what happens when you use a regular foundation brush, it will actually enhance the look of these enlarged pores as opposed to conceal them and then once you've really worked that product in once again taking your fingers and really applying firm pressure and pressing that down to create a really nice smooth surface over the rest of the face I'm not too bothered I just use a regular foundation brush and stippling motions and I might even come back a little bit over that first section that we worked on and with stippling motions just apply a little bit more product for coverage but essentially the pores are now evenly covered and light is reflecting evenly off the entire surface Moving on to setting powder now. My favorite is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed version. You really can use any kind of powder that you want, just something that you're happy with and that you can use to work into the pores even more. Now it's really important that you do use a powder puff for this. This is the only way to really get a great result. Fold that powder puff in half and then pick up the product on the puff. Now you do want to dab off any excess powder because otherwise you'll just look like a hot mess basically. But but going into the skin, you want to use firm pressure and rolling motion. So really roll that powder puff over the skin and deposit that powder right into the pores. This once again will make sure that the powder covers the entire surface of the pore, which will help it stop, you know, reflecting shine. And what I love about this powder is that it has a blurring effect on the skin and helps to make those pores, you know, like they've been photoshopped. So here is my skin after I have completed uh, this method and then this is what it looks like in comparison to beforehand. As you can see, it has made a dramatic improvement in the appearance of those pores. They look much smaller, much shallower. My skin looks tighter and obviously this is filmed in HD so you can still kind of see everything but in real life you cannot see them at all. I hope this video helps some of you out there with your pores. Us oily skin girls really have to stick together. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye. Long time. These are the NYX finishing sprays. So obviously this is my territory right here, the matte one, but they've also got a dewy finish setting spray. So these are obviously finishing sprays. They keep your makeup in place for ages, like really, really long. I love